What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video today We're starting a new series called the locals what the locals is is basically exactly what it sounds like instead of going to fast food places We're gonna go to local joints mom-and-pop type places Restaurants stuff like that. I actually go to the post office almost every day or around that area And there's this restaurant called La Brasa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it It's L A B R A S A La Brasa rotisserie grill and uh, it looked pretty good. The people were really nice on my local TV they have like PBS it's like reviewing all the local places but I feel like those places like contact them and then pay them money to review it and I don't want it to be like that I want to go to like random ass places those rinky dink places where you're just like I don't know if we should eat there but it might be tasty as fuck. I'm not sure if it's like a big chain restaurant. The reason why I picked La Brasa is because it's right next to the post office and I'm always like, I gotta try that place. And this is my first time ever trying it. I went in there, I was like, yo, it's good. And he's like, oh, it's up. And I was like, no, I mean like, what's good on your menu? And he started laughing. So the people there are pretty nice. They gave me three little like trays for sauce. I chose two. One of them is sweet and sour. One of them is like a mayonnaise. So it might be like some type of ranch mayo, but I chose the one fourth chicken with black beans and rice and then I got sweet plantains and it was actually a really good deal I think the total meal and this thing is pretty heavy. This was six dollars plus tax I handed him seven bucks tipped him the change. I don't think you can mess up black beans and rice and chicken All right, so I'm gonna pop off this top of the uh beans uh, it doesn't look like there's many beans in it or there's just a lot of liquid can't really mess up black beans So they got to be good very good and very hot. We're gonna try a little bit of rice You can mess up rice. So this is like an honest review of this place this is awesome. All right, now we're gonna take a piece of the rotisserie chicken. I can't get through it because it's like got skin. Broke off pretty easily. A little bit dry. I do really love the skin even though it's like pretty bad for you. The seasoning on it is really good. And then we got plantains. So let me try one of these plantains. I don't think you can really mess up plantains unless they're like really dry and these are really fresh. A plus on the plantains. So now that we tried everything, I'm just gonna mix it all together because that's usually what I do. I don't like to like nitpick like one thing here, one thing there. I just mix it all together and have like a big combo of different things to eat. This is what I did. I mixed it all up. Now it looks delicious. I don't think my dog is feeling really well because usually if I give him food, he's all like, excited. Oh. Wow, right when I do it on camera, he eats it. But like, I just try to give him some food and he's like, no, I don't want that. But I guess he liked the chicken because I tried to give him rice and he wouldn't eat it. But then I just gave him a piece of chicken and he's like, ooh, I love chicken. All right, so this is going to be like pretty much the true test of like how like well this place is because this is going to be the two sauces and this is from their restaurant. It's not like they like ordered the chicken from like a distributor and they seasoned it. The seasoning on the chicken is pretty awesome. We're going to try their sweet and sour sauce with the chicken. It's pretty good. The chicken is still a little bit dry, which I'm a little bit upset about, but the seasoning's good, the flavor's good. It's sweet and sour, like it says. Definitely digging the sweet and sour. Now we're gonna go for the white sauce. It was called white sauce, and then in parentheses it said mayonnaise. So it should be some type of like creamy mayonnaise sauce. It tastes like it's mixed between ranch and mayonnaise. Like, ranaise. Definitely adds a lot of oomph to it. That chicken definitely got dude in the mood, because now he's just waiting for more. Little scoop of everything. This is definitely going to be like one of my new go-to spots for like a really good lunch and it's cheap. Not even exaggerating. I paid for my food. I went to go get my sauces and my food was already waiting for me on the table. He's like, oh, it's already ready. I'm like, I haven't even got my sauces yet and you already got the food. Holy shit, they're quicker than I am. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of The Locals, a new series that we're going to be doing all the time on this channel. Out of 10 stars, I definitely rate this place like an 8.9. It was pretty awesome. The chicken was a little bit dry, but overall, awesome place. The people in there are pretty awesome. It was located on Hillsboro and Lions Road, and it's right next to a Burger King, right next to the post office. So if you're in the Deerfield area, I think that's actually Coconut Creek. I'm not sure, but it might be Deerfield. Make sure you guys go try out La Brasa. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for anything in South Florida that you want me to try. Make sure you guys slap that thumbs up button, become a subscriber, and have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.